Anything more to add, Brendan Shaw, before we wrap this bitch up? I don't think so, man. It's been real. It's been real, Finally, brother. Finally, we got back together and did one of these, huh? Even with a half a crew. Half the crew. We have no conspiracies with Eddie. Brian not dropping some old school knowledge on us. <laughs> You're lucky because in Rotterdam, I'm sure you had some gems for you. Yeah, he probably explained the government to us. He would explain the their system. whole government system. And yeah. then Eddie, I went, man, I feel a little flat today. And Eddie went, did you say flat? Yeah. And then just went off. Eddie's full on these days, apparently. They were debating whether or not... Uh, He's crazy. North Korea is re like what's happening in North Korea. Like he doesn't believe any of it. <laughs> and uh, they were debating like why you don't fall off the Earth. Is that what was going on? Yeah, like why if the Earth is not if the Earth is spinning so fast and we're going so fast through and it's on a turn, <laughs> how mm. come we're not just flying off of it? Well, and when you say like, debating, mm. being who? Uh, other dudes that are there with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those things where you could find out about gravity. You just do a Google search and, and you know read some papers about how how mass works and you know how it works in space and what gravity is and what causes the force of gravity. I mean, it's all it's all they've done experiments for hundreds of well, years. It's fake news to they, according to them, Joe. <laughs> you know it's yeah. fake news. I think he's enjoying himself. I think half the fun. With you don't Eddie think he is, really believes it? I think he does. But half the reason why he believes is because he's enjoying himself. Like he's like, he's he's spicing up life with these wacky conspiracies. Like everything's a goddamn conspiracy. Everything. Not you. You never hear Eddie like look at something that's in the news and go, "Well, it's probably we're just looking into it too much." N never. <laughs> everything. Like even that Chester was Bennington, the Lincoln Park guy. He's like, yeah. you know about that, right? Uh, like I don't. He, he believes I don't, that, man. man. I def definitely don't. Well, the problem with that one is, man, like the guy's dead, and if he killed himself, and he's got kids and a family, like God, six leave, kids, God, Mr. Rogan, six kids. That's a hard one. It's a hard pill. It's to tough swallow. pill to swallow, yeah. But also, I think you need people like Eddie in this world. I want, I, I like the Eddies in the world. Like I don't want everyone to agree with all the news. Oh well, I think it's fun to a certain point. Well, that's one of the reasons why Eddie's such a jujitsu genius. It's because he marches to the beat of his own drummer. I mean, he really does. He has like ideas in his head, and then he's just like, "We're gonna make this fucking work." But when you say drum, it's not like your standard drum. It's like no. a starship drum, and there's an <laughs> alien with seven arms banging it. While we're, <laughs> we're not sure if the eclipse is real or if NASA, it's a NASA hoax to sell sunglasses. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's hilarious. See, man. I enjoy it. Callan, it drives him nuts. But I'm like, I well, want colorful people in the world, man. Callan is almost as silly in the other direction. Correct. Callan never believes anything's a conspiracy. Ever. He thinks Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. And he'll tell you about, actually, you should read Vincent Bugliosi's book. Like, yeah, I have. It sucks. You didn't read it. You then I feel like it. we're in the middle. You and I usually yeah. agree. On, like, I'm like, I could see that. Right. You know, like, I get it. Like, I'll entertain it. But to... Until we t start talking about the Earth is flat, then I'm out. Any shit that doesn't really involve me, where I don't either have a stake in it or I don't actually know what happened, I don't have a dog in that fight. Me neither. And but I like so hearing I'll go, both sides. Oh. Yeah, and I'll go, I'll swing back and forth in my own head. Like I'm not, I'm I don't convince myself. My own self. I'll like say something. I'll go, man, you're probably wrong about that. Yep. And then I'll start arguing against myself. Yep. Oh, dude. Well, what about this, dude? I was. Convinced that Bigfoot was actually real for like 20 minutes. God damn, Joe! I was Joe like, Rogan. you fucking not idiot. lately. You've been no, a long time ago. Yeah, I was so high. I was watching the video of Bigfoot, like the the famous video, and I was like, what if Bigfoot's real? And I'm just an asshole. Like, what if this whole time I've been saying it's fake, it's fake. Meanwhile, it's not fake. And that poor guy actually captured it on film. <laughs> that poor guy. Oh. But see, if if you sat me with a Bigfoot <laughs> expert, I'm not so close minded. I'm just gonna shut him down. I'm listening to it and then be like. Maybe until, until you realize there are no Bigfoot experts. Every Bigfoot expert you meet is kind of a loon. It's full of shit. There, a lot of them are super nice guys, but when you get like deep in them, I had one dude on the podcast tell me he would cut his pinky off to find out if Sasquatch was real. He's a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. Like I, I had a, a guy who wanted to follow the eclipse through all the the states. I drive with. He flew you up to suck Portland. Your dick before or after you put the sunglasses on. See, that's why I said. <laughs> He's the guy, who, he's the maintenance guy around my house who told him to get the fuck out. I can't have you around my kid. Uh, weird. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Uh. <laughs> There's some weird people, man. There are definitely weird people. Weird. But hey, it's man, fun to believe some of that stuff. Over and over and over again. Look through the eclipse over and over and over again. With these glasses. I could look at a picture of the eclipse and go, I get it. Yep. And then I'm, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fucking good. 
I'm good. And then he was saying the next one's in like 24 years in Dallas. Okay, I'll be there. See ya. I'll meet you there, bro. Talk to you then. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna buy a property down there and rent it out for oh, one of the clips. You're talking about for the one fucking day? It's good. a terrible business idea. Super smart. Plan for one day, twenty one years. One day, from now. you fucking you're gonna clean up. You make like a hundred dollars. <laughs> you're, you're gonna kill it, bro. How much property are you buying, man? Probably, probably charge them double. Like, what do you do? Well, they're just gonna stand outside your house with glasses and then they get back in their car and go, Yeah, it was done. That's it. They don't need to stay the night for that. And does you it happen moron. in the sun? Like, is it the summertime? We don't know. Because summertime in Dallas is like summertime on the sun. Miserable. It's like you might as well be living on the sun. Summertime in Dallas is like 185 degrees. You go outside, you burst into flames. No one's going to stand <laughs> outside your fucking stupid house with but those weird sunglasses. The only thing is, who's crazier? That guy who follows the eclipse and he's boring as fuck, but at least the eclipse is real. Or a guy like Eddie Bravo who believes in Bigfoot, flat earth, <clears throat> conspiracy theories. Eddie's funnier. Different. Oh, so no, I, no, I'm not saying Eddie. Like yeah, I so love I it. Eddie's funny. However, I'm saying who's crazier? Yes. Good, good question. Who do you think is crazier? <sighs> I don't know. It it's a case by case, you know. Like, yeah. do you believe in ghosts? No. I'm gonna say this right now. But you chase Bigfoot. No. You believe in ghosts, Jamie? I don't think so. No. So, oh, you're open to the idea. Oh, uh, See, yeah. if I'm Eddie right now, I'd go. When you said you think so, I'd go. Look into it. 